Hello there, friends. This is Ewell Humphreys. I'm glad to be here and share with you a word, just a word out of the book of God, about a ten-minute message that I pray will bless your heart. <clears throat> and so I thank God for these little messages that are going out all over the world. And I praise God. <clears throat> I'm speaking to you on the way to please God. We need to please God if we can. If there's one thing that is important in our lives, it is to desire should be to please God. And the Bible says over in Hebrews, the 11th chapter, uh, uh, one of the first scriptures there is in verse 6, it says, by, by, <coughs> by faith that God was made the world, that we understand that the world was made. But without faith, it is impossible to please God. For he that comes to God must believe that he really is and that he exists and that he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. So number one, the first step to please God is start believing in him. We must believe in God. And Jesus said, you believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions and rooms, and I have gone to prepare a place for you. And if I have gone to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also forever. Now I want you to be up there with Him. I want you to be up there. I plan to be there, and I want you to be there. I want to meet you up there. Praise God. The Lord loves you, and I love you. And I want you to know that you're going there. And if you're not sure you're going to heaven, pray this brief prayer and believe. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. So you must believe. Believe that He hears what the Bible says in Romans 10, chapter, Whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved, forgiven forever. And no danger of hell, you're going to heaven forever to be with God and your loved ones. So pray a brief prayer with me like this and mean it from your heart. Just say it and mean it from your heart as best you can. Dear God, please forgive me. I believe in Jesus. I believe he died for me. I believe he paid for all my sins. I believe he rose again. I believe he's coming back. Come into my heart and help me live for you as the Lord of my life. Amen. Pray a prayer like that. And this is the first step toward pleasing God. Jesus said he came into the world and the world received him not. But to those that did receive him, to them he gives power to become the children of God. And so you're a child of God when you believe in Jesus. How can we please God? By faith, by believing in the Lord Jesus. By faith, it's it. And so then we have to live a life of faith. Over in the book of uh, Romans, in the first chapter, in verse 16 and 17, it says, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it's the power of God to salvation to everyone that believes. So the gospel of Jesus Christ is the power of salvation to everyone that believes. You don't have to have money to buy it. You don't have to do a lot of good things to, do, to earn it because you cannot buy it and you cannot earn it. It's a gift. God gives it to those who believe. For, the, for uh, I'm not ashamed of the gospel. It's the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes. For it is written, it, it, for, for therein is written, the righteousness of God comes from him through faith. As it is written again, the just shall live by faith. So you're saved by faith, by grace through faith. And then after you're saved, you live by faith. That is, you live by believing that God is going to hear and do the things that you need. You learn to just pray and ask God for everything you need. Call, he said, ask, it shall be given. Seek, and you shall find. You keep knocking, it shall be opened. And so learn, learn to depend on God and live by faith. This is the way you overcome the world. We overcome the world through faith. Through faith, through believing the Bible, through believing God. 
believe that he loves you. He said, I love you. And I made myself manifest to you. Over in the book of 1 John in the 4th chapter, it says this in verse 4, You are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in this world. There are a lot of evil spirits in this world. There are a lot of old devils in this world. But greater is he that's in you. You have Christ in you, the hope of glory. You have the precious Holy Spirit in you, the power of God within you. You have the Lord God. The life of God is in you as a Christian. And so we please God and overcome by faith. And we overcome the world by faith. And we overcome because we believe in God and we know that God redeems and saves us. And so trust Him. You got a problem in your heart? Trust God and ask Him for help. You got a problem in your home? Trust God and ask Him for help. You got a problem on the job or you're working? Trust God and believe and ask for help. You need something badly in your life? What is it? Ask, for, uh, ask God for it and believe it, it will come. I believe it will come. Many times, he'll answer just like you're asking. Sometimes, the answer will come in a different way than you, you thought for. You thought for. He'll, he'll, he'll answer, but it'll be a little different than what you asked for. I, uh, I remember reading something that Helen Keller said. She said, if, if, the, if the door is closed over here, there'll be another door open for you. That if God closes one door, he'll open another one. But she said, so many times we keep looking at the closed door and we're anxiously worried about the closed door that we overlook looking for the new door, the open door. And so it's there. Let me just close with this little illustration. Several years ago, I was in a revival meeting in a church in uh, Louisiana. And I was with the pastor. We came to the last night of the meeting and hadn't had anybody saved in the last two or three nights. And we said, Lord, this is the last service. We want at least one more person to be saved. And then there was a man living close to the church. The church had been praying for that was not a Christian. And we said, we pray for that man. Oh, Lord God, tonight, tonight, we pray that he'll come. And after we got through praying, we went down and drove down to his house. Said, we'll go down there and see if we can win him to the Lord. And we knocked on the door, and a little boy, a 10-year-old boy, came to the door. He said, his daddy just left about 30 minutes ago. I said, oh, no. We had so prayed that God would give us a soul and that that person would be the father there. And we started to leave, and I looked at the little boy, and I said, son, how old are you? He said, I'm 10. I said, are you a Christian? No. He said, I guess not. We went inside, and praise God, I, we won that little boy to the Lord. He came to the church and asked for baptism that very night. We prayed for the Father, but we got the Son. God will always give you the right, right answer. It'll come. And I understood later the Father came and joined and became a Christian. Amen. But we need to learn that faith is the victory. Faith is the victory that overcomes the world. Encamped along the hills of light, ye Christian soldiers rise. Join in the battle cry of light. Oh, before the glowing skies. Oh, in, against the foe, in veils below. Oh, praise land, praise God. Let all your flag be unfurled. For faith is the victory that overcomes the world. God bless you, dear friend. May you know that faith is the way to please God. Believe God. Believe Him. Believe that He knows you, loves you, and He's there when you can't see Him. Believe that He's going to be where you need Him and when you need Him. Believe that He's not going to leave you desperate and alone. Believe that He's going to walk with you and bless you and make your life count for God. Believe that great things are going to happen. Believe in the midst of trial and terror that God is there to help you. Max Lucado has said that the darker the night, the greater, the greater, the greater the light. And so it is that sometimes the dark night comes before the light comes, but it's coming. Believe, trust God, don't be afraid. And this is the one way, the great way, one way to please God. And it's all through Jesus Christ, our beloved Lord. Amen.